So hey Facebook, welcome back to another episode of Jasmine's Brown Kitchen because Jasmine Brown Kitchen is open and in full effect. So I'm starting off with some potatoes. I'm going to get my potatoes and I'm going to wash them off before I start to cut them up. Yes, you got to wash your potatoes. If anybody don't wash their potatoes before they cook them, mm -mm -mm. so after I get my potatoes cut and I'm going to just cut up some corn that I got, fresh corn that I already shucked, I'm going to go in with my Pretty Girl Snow Flavors all-purpose seasoning as well as i have a cajun seasoning yes y'all i have an all-purpose seasoning too after i get that all-purpose seasoning in there i'm gonna go in with a little bit of some olive oil and sunflower seed oil and i'm just gonna give that a good mix and tell me that food don't look seasoned y'all y'all don't need anything else all you need is a tablespoon of my all-purpose seasoning and your food is seasoned so after i get that in the oven to start roasting we're gonna go ahead and start working on our shrimp so you're gonna take your shrimp and you're gonna make sure that you slice it all the way down from the back all the way to the front and you're gonna remove that nastiness on the inside you do not want to eat that and then you're gonna flip it over and do the other side as well i don't understand why some people when they clean shrimp they only clean the top and not the bottom baby you gotta clean both sides that is why you cannot eat at everybody's house clean both sides of your shrimp and give it a good rinse if you want some nice clean shrimp and after that you know your shrimp is clean and ready to go so now that my shrimp are clean i'm going in with that pretty girls no flavor cajun seasoning Yes, y'all, Cajun. So I went in with about a teaspoon and a half because for every pound of protein I'm working with, I like to use a tablespoon of seasoning. That's just my rule of thumb. You don't have to follow it. You add as much seasoning or you add as little seasoning as you like. So after that, I'm going to give that a good stir, get that all incorporated, and let that marinate in the fridge while our potato and corn is still in the oven roasting. After that has marinated and our potatoes and corn is done roasting, you're going to get out your pot and you're going to get it nice and hot and wait for that. Now, y'all know that sizzle is my absolute favorite part. So, while your shrimp is cooking, you're going to go ahead and start warming up your garlic butter. Along with my garlic butter, I added in some peppers, red pepper, yellow peppers, and then I also added in some onions. And then I'm just going to sit there and let that cook down. And after that is cooked down, you're going to pour it on top of that shrimp and potato corn an egg mixture. You know what we like to call this? Dinner is served. Enjoy, guys. 